Well, hello everyone. We have right here. I'm talking about uh, with uh, texting to Santa Claus right here, and also knowing to talk about for hidden presents right here. And I'm sure most of us have saw you know some of my Photoshop work, but uh, you know really that if we're going to be getting any sorts of conversations with Santa or anything uh, that you're going to be talking about, you know online though, and you're always one oh two that uh, you know really how good uh, really are you and whenever it comes to communication, whenever it comes to writing letters a lot of times. And uh, you're always thinking, too, that, yeah, that, uh, you know, the first thing is first, is that whenever you first get a present, by the way, uh, that uh, you want to know, too, that, uh, that yeah, you know, you have the special wrapping paper, but then also uh, whenever it comes to writing each other, you know, yeah, writing to, writing to the North Pole and, of course, uh, send, you know, trading text messages. And, um... So if you're going to have uh, an older brother or a sister or a cousin, whoever it is, uh, a neighbor, and uh, 102 that you go see Santa a lot of times, have your picture taken and everything. But still, that, uh, that yeah, whenever it comes to uh, knowing about presents right here, and uh, you're 102 that, uh, that uh, you know, yeah, that uh, you, you uh, have like a, I'll go ahead and show everybody here that, yeah, you know, I picked this gift out for you, and, yeah, I picked it out, and um, so when we do talk about presents a lot of times, that uh, it sure seems that way, that, that there's at least maybe five different ways on how it usually goes. If you do go into somebody's house, so let's just say if you go to visit a neighbor or somebody, and a lot of times that there's different ways of how you exchange gifts, right? But let's just say if there's one gift that uh, you do pick out for somebody, you know, if it's something that... That you thought that that you or maybe if it's a little bit late or I meant to give it to you last year or something like that, and uh, that's why it seems that way to where that um, that whenever you do think about that and you're warned to where that, um, that yeah you know, you go ahead and write the gift tag right here the or the yeah, I pick up you know I picked it out for you and you know, yeah you're from me to you and uh, so I have these gift tags right here. And a lot of times it's like, yeah, you know, anybody might say that you see these cool looking gift tags to where it has special effects and maybe where it has a special label print or and all that. But uh, still, what you usually would see is like a label that shows to and from right here. But like everybody might say that um, if you were to be writing on here and thinking that, OK, yeah, you go and write on here like, yeah, maybe Sophia or, you know, maybe you put a. Any other source of name, uh, such as, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, Abby Dow or something like that. Um, you know, Abby Dow or something like, somebody like that. I'm like, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, would, if you were to put on there, uh, you know, yeah, that, um, you know, I could maybe use, uh, anybody might even say, too, that, uh, you know, if you were to be doing any Christmas shopping for anybody, uh, in particular, I could maybe put on here, yeah, you know, Sally or something like that. You know, you can maybe put, uh, you know, yeah, Sally or something like that. And uh, people might say, yeah, well, really, that, um, so if you were to put that name right there, number one and 102, that, okay, yeah, I I would like to know if it's spelled correctly. And, uh, but still, if you're going to go ahead and, uh, and use right here. You Sally and uh, yeah, put Sally right there to Sally uh, and uh, from uh, yeah, and if you were to put on there from Santa or something like that or Santa's helper, So it sure seems that way that um, that whenever you do uh, Santa's helper right here, <laughs> from Santa's helper. So so if you were to print that right there, and a lot of times it sure seems that way that. Uh, when we do talk about gift exchange a lot of times, that the first thing that's really going to come to your mind is that really that, uh, you know, how do you, uh, you know, how, how do you set that toward it to who gets to, to open the, 
the first present. You know, if it's usually if it's the oldest uh, of the sibling, I'm like, yeah, if it's the oldest or maybe if it's a special person or something like that. But, you know, I would maybe think that, you know, like everybody might say that if you're going to be gathering, uh, you know, gathering around the Christmas tree, you know, as a family, uh, you know, especially on Christmas Eve or maybe on Christmas morning that, um, that you tell somebody that, uh, that, you know, there's one Christmas present that I would like to give to you on Christmas Day, and then, uh, you would tell them that, that, you know, I picked this out, you know, I picked it out for you, and, uh, you know, I ask you to go ahead and open it, uh, you know, and you're like, yeah, open it and see what you, but still, that, that there are some presents to where, that, uh, somebody say that, you know, I would like to give this to you on Christmas Day, uh, and, uh, but, uh, still, that, uh, you know, why didn't you just put it underneath the Christmas tree? And, uh, you know, that might be the first question that somebody might say that, hey, you know, why didn't you just put it underneath the Christmas tree uh, with all the other gifts? And um, so maybe every year or so that uh, somebody, they say different ways of how you exchange Christmas gifts, right? But you have right here, talk about, yeah, do you, you know, do you know what a cool toy is? And in, in the, in the toy is where you're able to find it in almost every store but, you know, in town, but what about the North Pole? And, uh, so if you're going to be writing a letter to Santa right here at 102, how do you think that it would really start, for sure, if you were to send him a list of different presents, uh, uh, different gift ideas and all that? But still, each time you do think about that, and you're thinking that, um, that, yeah, that, um, whenever it comes to, uh, 15 Christmases later or something like that and maybe whenever it comes to i've been a real good boy and uh you know something like <laughs> a real good girl or something but uh whenever you do think about gift exchange a lot of times that, that the first thing that you you might see right here is actually uh, text messaging and uh so you're thinking that you know, yeah well hello young man or something like that and uh so you would see messages like this but still that um but uh, you're thinking that uh you know, okay, yeah, that the last time you saw this message right here, a message that came to your phone right here, and let's just say that uh, that you noticed that, that, that you, know, you might be used to seeing uh, uh, on the gift tag right here about maybe only about uh, maybe one or two paragraph sentence right here that shows, uh, you know, a letter saying this to where, do you know what a cool, I'm like, yeah, just uh, about something, you know, kind of like that right there, and maybe like, you know, maybe a few quotation marks or something like that, a letter to Santa. And uh, so whenever you do think about that, and you're warned to her, um, and then, uh, you know, yeah, so like, let's just say that, um, you know, yeah, if you were to whisper to somebody's ear, and for sure, everybody might say too that, uh, you know, yeah, whenever you do uh, whisper into somebody's ear, for sure, that, uh, you know, you're thinking too that, um, you know, you know, for sure. Whenever you whisper into somebody's ear, by the way, that, uh, you know, you go ahead and just say that, uh, okay, yeah, well, what exactly uh, does that mean whenever you do uh, whisper into somebody's ear like that? And uh, everybody might say that, you know, yeah, well, I know what exactly what it means whenever you do uh, whisper into somebody's ear. That just on my ear. I'll go ahead and just say, yeah, add in a few text but uh, go ahead and zoom out right here so I can show everybody but uh, yeah just uh, turn right right there but uh, still if you're trying to whisper into somebody's ear about something uh, yeah double space um, So yeah, so if you were to actually uh, write to somebody in the uh, 102 that, um, yeah, you include a message right here, but uh, like everybody might say that, um, you know, uh, you can read it just fine from here, right? You make that in small print, and uh, everybody might say that, um, yeah, make it in real small print so that way they won't be able to see it right away. And uh, people might say that, yeah, whenever somebody whispers into your ear, and let's just say that if you uh, get a message that says that something, you know, it looks like something like this right here, 
you got hidden right here, but then you got right here going sideways. You know, it is uh, it is under the tree. It is hiding behind the envelope. So if you were to try to surprise somebody with any source of Christmas gift, by the way, and at your 102, that, uh, you know, how do you write your text whenever you whisper, by the way? Whenever you whisper, that uh, is, does that pretty much mean is to where that you don't want to tell, you know, yeah, it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be hidden. You know, yeah, you know, don't tell them right away. It's supposed to be a surprise. So I guess does that pretty much mean is to where the text uh, are supposed to be placed like this right here. They're supposed to be placed diagonally like that. You know, whenever it comes to exchanging Christmas gifts. And um, so people might say, yeah, well, you know, for sure, if we're talking about it, it's supposed to be a surprise, right? That means that you're supposed to make it smaller. You know, yeah. I don't want to tell you right away because it was supposed to be a surprise. So that's why I went and placed the text like that. And uh, people might say that, you know, if it was supposed to be a, a letter to Santa Claus right here and you're 102, that, um, that yeah, you know, uh, you were whispering to Santa's ear. And uh, a lot of times it's like, yeah. So whenever it comes to uh, surprising somebody on Christmas morning, you know, uh, that you're thinking is toward it, uh, you know, yeah, hidden. You know, it is under the tree. It is hiding behind the envelope right here. Or, yeah, you know, you would maybe include a text maybe right here that says, uh, you know, yeah. You know, push, um, you know, this, um, yeah, this button is only, you know, visible. <laughs> to you so let, let's just say yeah so it's something like that only visible to you and uh so it sure seems that way that you know each time you do think about that in your warrant to where that uh yeah only visible to you or you know like thinking that um okay yeah only visible yeah so yeah so, so, so you're kind of thinking too that uh, maybe just a little bit, right? That yeah, that um, only visible to you, only visible to you. Yeah, you know, only visible to you, but uh, supposed to be um, yeah, it, it's supposed to be a surprise. Until uh, Christmas morning. So, like, Eric, I'm like, yeah, and a lot of times, a lot of parents might even say, too, that, you know, yeah, you're, you're supposed to be asleep. You're supposed to be asleep, and, um, so it sure seems that way that each time you do think about messages like this like everybody might say that what does it usually mean if somebody were to be whispering into your ear and uh, telling you something and uh, like everybody might say that you know that pretty much means is to where yeah a surprise or you know something like uh you know wait until that right moment in time or something like that but you know what i was thinking about too that uh whenever it comes to that typical gift wrap you know we talk about gift wrap a lot of times that uh, you actually have that to where you wrap up a present, but not everybody really knows uh, what's in that present, what's in that package, and and that is why it seems that to where that um, that when we do talk about gift exchange a lot of times, that you want to too, you write a letter to Santa right here, but you're thinking as to where okay, yeah, it's hidden. Hidden pretty much means is that yeah, we all know what hidden means, don't don't we? That uh, that means that um, that you know it's yeah, you know, you where you cannot see it right away. It's there, you know, it's there. But whenever you do connect the dots, whenever you connect the pieces of the puzzle, that uh, you know you may want to too. That why was it so difficult to be able to find it? So like yeah. So let's just say, let's just say that um, in this photograph, I'm like in this painting right here. That if you were to actually place that anywhere. 
like right on here on the picture here in 102 that yeah if you were to make that smaller by the way and people might say the yeah you know hidden right here you know 102 that um yeah talk about for hidden right it's, yeah it's hidden you know it's i'm like yeah so you're, you're always 102 that um whenever we do talk about hidden you hidden does not mean that it's not there so like everybody might say that uh you look at this picture by the way and you might want to know too that uh you know that there's a lot of places maybe where you can hide something especially if it's supposed to be a surprise you know a gift from santa or maybe from aunt or uncle or maybe cousin or somebody like that but you know you always want to know too that um that yeah that um now, why do you think that maybe, you know, hiding something, you know, before Christmas Eve, a lot of parents might say that, uh, you know, um, that, yeah, it's supposed to be a surprise, but don't you think that a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of special kits and gift wraps will be made to where that you, there will be a spot where you can actually hide something. Not, not everybody is really going to notice that it's there. And like, you, you might think that uh, nowadays with the digital technology, by the way, that uh, you would see something like an image right here. You know, an, an image that looks something like this right here, but there's supposed to be a surprise right here, maybe on the left, or maybe there's like a little a little pocket, like a little, you know, envelope or something like that at about right here. And you're thinking that, um, that yeah, that uh, it's supposed to be, you know, like, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's hidden. It's hidden behind this picture right here. You know, you, you have... Uh, a gift right here that you'll yeah like, yeah yeah so so a lot of times it's like yeah different ways of how to be able to surprise somebody and how to be able to hide something from somebody but like everybody might say that the, even if it is an engagement ring that you're warranted toward it um then why do you think that you uh, would want to hide something from somebody uh right away at least until christmas morning and you know you might think that uh you know yeah you know you uh if you were to actually surprise somebody with something for sure that 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 pretty much means that you're it's you know you're supposed to make it harder for this person I'm like yeah if, if you're going to give somebody a gift right you're going to give somebody a gift you're trying to make it harder for them to find out what it is right so i guess that's the purpose of my gift wrap right that, that whenever you do uh think about gift wrap you know even if it's a box of cookies or a box of chocolates that uh, you're making it harder for them to figure out what it is and um until christmas morning right so it sure seems that way that uh whenever you do think about it by the way that you're thinking that uh you know uh, yeah that uh you know you spend so much time figuring out you know like uh people might say that really that if you think about gift wrap a lot of times you think about that special gift wrap by the way and you're thinking that uh you know, hey, that, um, that, you know, you may be used to that type of gift wrap where you open up to see what's on the inside, right? But we're, what about the type of gift wrap to where that, uh, you know, talk about for hidden right here. And, uh, everybody might say that, you know, yeah, well, you know, uh, whenever you do find a, a hidden present, hidden treasures or anything, like, anywhere like that, and you're always one oh two, that, uh, that, you know, yeah, you know, it makes a, People might even say too that um that um you think about typical you know Christmas mornings a lot of times and you're one oh two that uh you know was it really designed for that purpose to where it's supposed to make it harder for the person that's supposed to receive receive that present right and you're always thinking too that um that whenever it comes to uh, shopping around and uh, you know uh, making a gift request and everything and you're thinking that uh you know, okay, yeah, that letter to Santa and everything, but still, that, um, you know, who gets to go first whenever you're opening up your presents and, and talk about 15 Christmases later, you know, to to have something, you know, special, but what what would you think if I was, you know, a helper, if I was uh, the special helper for somebody, maybe the, to the shepherd or maybe to the elves or something like that, but uh, still, it's like everybody might say that uh, almost every Christmas, that you think about that if you pick out the gift that what's the best way of how to uh, how to deliver that special gift and knowing about the fact that um 
that whenever it comes to gift exchange a lot of times, that um, whenever you're doing your Christmas shopping, by the way, that uh, you're thinking that, uh, you know, okay, yeah, that if you pick it out for somebody that, you know, you ask as to where, that, yeah, it's supposed to be to somebody special, right? And uh, let's just say that uh, that's somebody, I'm like, yeah, if it's uh, Sally or if it's uh, Angela or somebody like that, and that you're 102, that, um, you know, yeah, the first thing that you're going to be thinking about for sure. <laughs> Everybody might even say that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, Ashley. I'll just go ahead and just say that for sure. I think I may mention that before, by the way, but, you know, Ashley, uh, if we know anybody, uh, a friend of ours by the name of Ashley, uh, if you were to talk to Ashley and... Uh, 102 the yeah you know you picked you know you pick out a gift for Ashley and uh one know that um uh, that hey you know I don't even know if if you're even gonna like what I got you and all that and uh yeah I picked it out for you and everything but still that um but really that um whenever it comes to gift exchange a lot of times but I'm sure we all have our own stories about the fact that whenever you go see Santa Claus and Yo, know, you're thinking that, uh, you know, yeah, that when we talk about, uh, you know, hidden right here, and uh, whenever it comes to, you know, trading text messages, and whenever it comes to, uh, just to understand a little bit about how, but, but still, talk about for special gift wrap a lot of times, because everybody might even say that when we do talk about gift exchange, by the way, that, um, you know, you're always thinking that, um, that, yeah, that uh, whenever you do receive a gift, that, that you know, how uh, are you uh, very proud to get that gift? And then also that uh, whenever it does uh, come to uh, about the fact about, you know, yeah, if it was something that you've been, you know, that you were hoping, hoping to get and all that. But, you know, still that uh, you every time you do, you know, every time I think about that for sure, you know, I'm going to think about, you know, yeah, you know, I picked it out. And then I one thing I can also mention right down here too is that um is that yeah that you know you go ahead and uh, you know yeah I picked it out yeah I picked it out and I gave it a name I picked it out and I gave it a name. So it's like, yeah, so really, what what exactly does that mean whenever you do say that? You know, like everybody might say that, well, really, it just means that you gave it a name, right? <laughs> but still, that um, maybe not everybody's really going to understand that the whole story of what you're talking about <laughs> until they've been in that same experience or whichever. But, you know, still, it's like, uh, you know, almost every time you think about that, and you went out to the yeah. You, know, I picked up, uh, I picked this out, and I and I gave it a name. And um, so what you're basically are telling everybody is that uh, you know, yeah, that was not on the Christmas list, or it was on the Christmas list, but it was just you know different ways of how you want to describe you know something. But you know, yeah, I gave it a name. So what you're basically are telling everybody. Is that uh, you know whenever you were doing your Christmas shopping, by the way, uh, that that uh, you know you were thinking of somebody, and that uh, you were thinking that uh, yeah yeah, like everybody else might say that uh, whenever you do uh, think about gift exchange, by the way, that whenever you do say something like that, I guess uh, Santa is pretty much telling you is to where that uh, you know you're just being a little bit creative, and then uh, you're just. Uh, you're not really going by any rules or any request or anything. What you're basically are saying is toward that you, uh, you know, you picked it out just because that uh, you, uh, you recommended that this, uh, you know, you, you, you wanted to buy this for somebody else. And you know, that was just based on your opinion, right? And uh, knowing about what they were talking about, about it. And um, so every time you do think about gift exchange a lot of times, and you're always thinking that you're talking about for special moments, right? But, you know, I, you know, based on my study, you know, is uh, you're thinking that, um, you know, that why can't we just think about that is toward a year. You know, you were asleep uh, when we were having this conversation or something like that. But still, that uh, when we do talk about uh, Christmas shopping, though, 
that uh, everybody might say that um, that you know why can't you just maybe take a maybe just a few seconds just to be able to pick a spot you know anywhere on that package anywhere on an envelope where you can include uh, maybe like a gift or something like that you know maybe something that looks like a pocket or something like that and be say that yeah you know that uh, you know it was hidden because uh, yeah if there was an engagement ring I can tell everybody that I can see a lot of everybody else doing something like that you know if they were trying to yeah if they were trying to propose to somebody if it was an engagement ring or something like that or maybe if it was an invitation to go to uh to the gym or somewhere or to go to a special dinner or something like that it would be something kind of like this right here to word it uh yeah in real small teeny tiny print you know just like that but then it's uh you know yeah it's right over here on the right right here and it would be like a little configuration icon right here that would be like a little envelope. And people might say that, um, you know, if you would actually look at that, then you would not even notice that right there. So really, I'm like, you know, how many of us would say that uh, they would like to spend a lot of their time doing something like that? You know, you're looking at this big picture right here with a picture in front of Santa but you don't really pay attention to the corners right here. Like everybody might say that, yeah, yeah, you don't really pay attention to too much, too many of the corners right here. So you're thinking that, um, you're thinking that, hey, that, uh, you know, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I guess that's a good spot right there. I guess that would be a good spot to where that you can go ahead and work at, you know, just knowing that, uh, you know, if you're trying to surprise somebody, you're going to go ahead and just put it right here on the corner to where that not everybody's going to see it you know there at first and that's whenever you're going to say that uh you know yeah you know if you don't want them to look at it right away you can go and just put it right here on the corner you know to where that not everybody can see it and uh a lot of designers might even say that they kind of find that to be real common to where that if you want to surprise somebody with something for sure that um you know go ahead and maybe tag it right here on the top right corner and uh you know besides an autograph that you want to surprise somebody with a gift then uh, you would go ahead and just put it right here on the corner and uh you know not everybody's going to see that right away so they might say that uh oh okay well i, I didn't see it and uh so it's like yeah so if you want to attach um a special gift or maybe uh, mail some send somebody to somebody or something like that you know, why do you think that uh, that most designers would find that real convenient right there? And um, so it's like, yeah, so maybe uh, besides Christmas, it could also be maybe for Valentine's Day and even for Easter or any other sorts of, you know, special occasion that uh, if you were to try to surprise somebody with something that, that uh, you know, you go ahead and start out with it to where that, uh, you know, an envelope or maybe with the picture at about this size right here, but... Uh, you start out with uh, something that you can hide, you know, something hidden right here, and you say that it was supposed to be hidden, and it, you know you're not able to open it until you know on that day, on that on that special occasional day, and um, so everybody might say that, uh, you know, whenever you do put this together, by the way, it sure seems that way that you know, you are able, yeah, you're able to see a, a lot more things on there that maybe other people cannot see right there and so you're thinking that uh you know really why would you why do you spend a, all you know a whole lot of time doing that you know why do you spend so much time doing that you know working on something putting the pieces of the puzzle together and find out that uh you know uh, you go ahead and give somebody something but then they're not able to see and realize that okay yeah just push this button or something or hey, you know, open this envelope or something, and, um, and, and then tell you what thing, I actually see quite a bit of, even on the text messages, and even on the emails, by the way, but, uh, still, but whenever it comes to exchanging Christmas gifts, by the way, that, uh, it seems that way to where that, uh, you know, uh, you go ahead and spend so much time, you know, yeah, you hide something from somebody that you're trying to give the gift to, you know, yeah, yeah, do not open this, uh, until Christmas morning, until or maybe on New Year's Eve or something like that. So you're always want to know too that um, that do parents find that to be real convenient whenever it comes to uh, exchanging gifts, as to the finding ways on how to hide the gifts until Christmas morning. And um, 
And a lot of parents might say that, uh, you know, they find that to be really convenient, by the way, just because. But, you know, still, you know, people might say that, uh, you know, uh, there, there's different gift wrapping and different, maybe there might be different uh, kits or maybe gift baggies that you can get now that do about the same thing. But, uh, you know, you're thinking that, uh, you know, whenever we do talk about hidden, by the way, that uh, you're always one oh two that... Um, then maybe every year on Christmas that uh, you're thinking that, uh, you know, yeah, who else really knows about, uh, you know, for where most of the Christmas presents are hiding? And uh, who else really knows about this? And like knowing that, the, you know, that I picked it out for you and that, you know, you should not open this until Christmas Eve. And, um, you know, it is under the tree. You know, it is hiding behind the envelope or something like that. And, uh... So yeah, so every time you look at these text messages, by the way, and you're 102, that, um, you know, yeah, if you want to surprise somebody with something for sure, that uh, that pretty much means is to where, that, uh, hey, you know, between now and Christmas Eve, that um, what they really see right here at first is uh, a picture in front of Santa Claus. And that's going to be the first thing that a lot of our viewers are going to see right here. Is that, uh, you know, yeah, the picture of us in front of Santa Claus. They're going to see this image right here. You know, that, that's going to be the first thing that they're going to see right here. So, like, everybody might say that uh, whenever we do think about gift exchange, by the way, that the first thing that you see is maybe is a message or two in, in an envelope and then maybe a picture. But um, you're always one to know, too, that... Um, that, uh, yeah, you know, uh, why would you spend so much time hiding things in the background like that? You know, hiding things back there. Like everybody might say, this right here looks like a photograph right here, a painted picture right here with Santa Claus. But people might say that, yeah, well, the last time I looked at that, it was just a picture. You know, just a puzzle piece. You know, uh, oh, uh, oh, okay, well, it's just a card or whichever, but still... But maybe every year we can maybe think about that to where that, um, the, yeah, you know, uh, you go ahead and you get another invitation of uh, a special gift from Santa Claus. And you see this right here, this button right here, you you know, you tab on that button. It takes you to, uh, to a website or, you know, you know, you're able to, it sends you a code to where that to, you'll have something delivered to you. It's supposed to be a special delivery delivered to you. And, um. So that is why it seems that way to where that every time we do think about hidden treasures a lot of times. <laughs> and everybody might say that, uh, you know, really, why do you want to spend so much time doing that? You know, every Christmas morning, why do you want to spend so much time hiding presents and maybe keeping something a surprise? But like everybody might say that, um, you know, uh, the first thing that you see, though, is uh, this uh, picture right here. But then, it, you know, everybody might, like, yeah, you know, maybe not even a picture. You might see just a, a message or two right here saying that, you know, dear Santa Claus, you know, like I say, this is maybe going to be the first thing that you see, you know, whenever you first start doing your Christmas shopping right here. But still, it's like every time you do think about that, that, that you're warned to where that, um, you know, oh, OK, well, I, yeah, I didn't know that. And um, so, like, everybody might say that. uh <laughs> You know, yeah, well, you weren't supposed to know. And uh, <laughs> so Santa Claus, I'm like, yeah, like everybody might say that, you know, yeah, I, I okay, I, I didn't know that. So every time you do think about that, and you're one oh two that, um, you know, yeah, I, I didn't know that. And um, okay, well, I didn't know. And uh, so that's why it seems that way to where that, uh, you know, why do you think that any uh, Hallmark or, you know, any other source of companies, you know, uh, they design uh, their gift wrapping products and everything to allow the person exchanging gifts as to what, okay, well, yeah, I did not know that. And um, so the first thing that you're going to say, maybe right up here on the top, is that, uh, you know, yeah, something like, uh, oh, okay, well, yeah, I, I didn't know that. And um so it's like, yeah, so, I mean, I really don't know everybody. I'm like, if they're going to maybe have it to wear gift baggies, one of them that's going to say something like, you know, the, to those who do not know, you know, to those uh, who have uh, an idea but just uh, don't quite understand or something like that. I mean, I really don't know what they're going to 
what they have really now, but uh, still, you know, I did not know that, and uh, so it's like, yeah, you know, on Christmas Eve, that the first thing that you're going to maybe think about saying is toward, okay, I did not know that, and uh, <laughs> so yeah, so really, why, uh, why do you think that you would want a gift baggie that says something like that? You know, you check back maybe around eight o'clock that night, and people may want to know too that you see something on there that says, I did not know that, or something, and, uh, you know, on Christmas morning, that uh, it says something different, you know, yeah, well, well Merry Christmas, you know, here, here's your gift, and uh, so, yeah, so a lot of designers might even say that, um, that there are products out there where they say that, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that um, you look at this image right here, but there's a lot of things that you don't know about what's going on here, about that design until Christmas morning. And then they say that, you know, yeah, you know, did you see that right there? That, yeah, there's an arrow right here. Click on that link right there, and then, uh, you know, just, uh, and then there's an application that comes up or something like that. So, I mean, I would like to know, too, that um, if they do make stuff like that to where it says that, you know, yeah, I did not know that until that, you know, yeah, then there's an arrow or something like that that appears on the bottom or maybe on the top right corner right there or something like that. <laughs> Really, different gift way, different ways of how you can surprise somebody, right? But you know, every time you do think about that, and you're always one oh two that um, that uh, you know, yeah, you send somebody a gift, but maybe if it's maybe thirty days later that they don't realize that um, that you know, hey, that uh, you know, we're wondering why you didn't open it yet or why it wasn't delivered just yet, and uh, maybe that's another reason why, like everybody might say that. Uh, you know, if you're going to be thinking about gift exchange a lot of times, it, um, they'll say that, uh, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the clues and maybe, uh, you know, guides on like these uh, messages, like the guides, like maybe the arrows for what to click on, right? A lot of it will be provided to you on Christmas Eve. So like everybody might say that this is the first thing that you're going to see right here, maybe two days before Christmas or something like that. And uh, 102, that yeah, two days before Christmas, and this is all what you see right here, you know, letter to Santa, but then uh, on Christmas Eve that you see something different. And um, so designers might even say, too, that, um, you know, yeah, you know, a lot of designers might say that, uh, do you find that to be real convenient right there whenever it comes to gift exchange a lot of times? And uh, you're thinking that... Um, that, yeah, that, uh, you know, okay, well, I didn't know that, and, uh, you know, you, uh, you weren't supposed to know, you know, it was supposed to be a surprise, and, um, so each time you think about, um, you surprising somebody with something, and, uh, you know, people might say that you, you can include that on there, you know, yeah, you know, after, after 8 a.m. or something like that, you know, yeah, after, yeah, after 8 o'clock, after 8 p.m., you know, at night, or by midnight, or something like that. Yeah, by midnight, or something like that. And, uh, really, that, uh, you know, we all have our Christmas stories for sure, but, uh, it sure seems that way, that every time you do, uh, think about that, and you're thinking that, uh, you know, yeah, I've done this before, you know, almost every year on Christmas Eve, that, uh, you know, you always think about that, to where, that uh, you're used to just writing on there to and from right there, and like and yeah, to uh, to Ashley uh, from your friend Matt or something like that, or something you know something like uh, yeah. So anything, anytime you do gift exchange, by the way, but still, you know, do you think that maybe you would want to take the extra time to write a gift on there saying that that you know you're not supposed to know this right away? So like yeah, I did not know that, and some something like that, and. Um, so you go ahead and, you know, if you were to actually do like a gift exchange right here to where that uh, you go ahead and, uh, and set uh, a gift exchange right here to where that it's supposed to be hidden, you know, to where that that other person is not supposed to see, is not supposed to see that right there. And so that's why it seems like, a, yeah, it's supposed to be a surprise. So the first thing that you see right here is a picture in front, you know, sitting right next to Santa Claus right there. And, uh... <laughs> So that's going to be maybe the first thing that you're going to see right there. And, uh, you know, for sure, everybody might say that, uh, you know, the first thing that you see, but you may not realize that, uh, the, yeah, the, go to the next page. Well, okay, well, I didn't see it. Well, you know, that's, 
That's right. It was designed to where that you weren't supposed to see it right away. And um, so really, you know, like everybody might say that, that, you know, why do you think that you would want to spend so much time hiding gifts from somebody, even though like, yeah, well, you're not supposed to open it until Christmas Eve or you're, you're not supposed to open that until Christmas Day or maybe three days after Christmas. And um, so, yeah, so every time you do think about that, by the way, and you're always thinking that, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, they didn't know something. And um, maybe everybody else might say that if you were to, uh, you know, if they were to sell gift wrap, like something like that, to where that uh, the things that you did not know and compared to the things that you that you need to know or something like that. So, you know, every time you do think about gift exchange, by the way, that you're always thinking, too, that, um, you know, why do you think? that they would need to include any source of wrapping paper that shows I did not know that or something like that. And then you would uh, show on there that, uh, hey, you know, just push a button. It's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to open up and show you surprise or something like that. <laughs> like er 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 a lot of kids might even say, too, to their parents that, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's something that's so complicated for sure. You know, why do you think any kids would even want to mess with any gift wrap? You know, that said, the first thing that says on the package is to where, you know, I did not know that. Well, you know, for sure, you would want to buy it, maybe if it's two weeks before Christmas, that a lot of parents might say that um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why we bought it, is because, so that way you wouldn't find out right away. That's one of the reasons why that we bought this, is so that way you wouldn't find out what was in the presents right away. And uh, so it's like, yeah, so every time you do think about that in Euro is 102, that it was designed toward it not to let the other person know until Christmas Day. And um, so that's why it seems like, uh, yeah, talk about for hidden, right? And uh, to where you're supposed to hide it. And, uh, you know, they're not supposed to find out right away what it is. And uh, so, yeah, so it's like every time you do think about that, by the way, that um, you're thinking to your mind, that, uh, you know, you thought about the picture right here, but it's like, yeah, you know, uh, the situation comes to where that, um, that, you know, yeah, you know, you don't tell somebody where, where to click on and maybe look on the back or anywhere like that. But everybody might say that if it's supposed to be a surprise for sure, that um, what you would, you know, what you would need to do for sure is that, that yeah, yeah, you go ahead and distract somebody. Yeah, it's, I guess if you, it's another way of how you want to call it. It's supposed to be a distraction, right? You know, you include a picture right here, but then you know, you don't really see anything really to click on right away, and you're always wondering, oh, too, that, uh, you know, why do gift exchange work like that? But like everybody might say that, uh, you know, you find that to be very creative, by the way, but on the other hand, too, that, um, that when we're, we're, we're talking about doing your typical Christmas shopping and maybe a letter... Uh, a gift from Santa Claus, and uh, you're thinking that, uh, you know, do you think that maybe you would have to uh, think about that to where that, uh, you know, maybe at least uh, 15 different ways on how to you want to exchange gifts? Is that on Christmas Day that, that this is how you're going to exchange gifts, but then, the, you know, two weeks before Christmas, that, that this is what you're going to do, right? You're going to go ahead and, you know, yeah, you're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, it's like a not look behind that curtain or nothing, but uh, what you're going to do is that uh, you're going to go ahead and, and uh, yeah, I don't even know really what really what everybody calls it, but uh, still, that um, what you're going to go ahead and do is that you're going to go ahead and um, and put like a, you know, maybe a picture or maybe do like a present, uh, some, some gift bag or something that, you know, shows everybody that, yeah, you know, we're not giving you any clues on what's inside the present or anything, but, uh, still. But usually what I do see most of the time is text messages, by the way. Text messages and knowing about you this year, you know, can I uh, ask, uh, after, you know, the 15 years of Christmas? And, um, so it's like, yeah.